HR struggles with predicting and forecasting because there's so many components really to HR. There's putting a body in the seat, there's grooming the body for the talents, there's paying the person. All of these pieces have to come together. It's not like just financials where I've got this year, next year, and then I can predict based on simple numbers what the trajectory is gonna be. You're dealing with human beings here. And that's where it becomes a little bit more difficult because people move and people gain skills, people change jobs. And so you have to take the value that you have in your human resources and you wanna capitalize on it. Well, it's very hard to do when the information about those resources are in very different systems. You know, I hired you, you said you would be ready to relocate, but now you're in my payroll HR system. I don't really have access to that information necessarily anymore. So what do I do with that? You know, how do I manage your career aspirations while I'm really just trying to get payroll done or I'm really just trying to work on open enrollment? So there's the information part of it and there's the ball and chain of transactions that you have to do in order to keep that part of the business running. So the nirvana for HR would be that they have the data that's there already and they can take it and build it into dashboards. They can take predictives out of it. They can say, CEO, we're growing at a rate of 20%. We can match that rate. We know what months to hire in. We know how many people we need and we know where to put them. That's their nirvana. That gets you the seat next to the CEO next to the CFO, because now you're bringing valuable data. You're not just overhead, you're part of the strategy of the business.